Hello everyone, I'm Rainer from VeloDB. Today we are using AWS S3 tables as the storage service for Iceberg to show you how Apache Doris can integrate with Apache Iceberg. As you can see, we have already created a demo table bucket in the AWS console. Next, we open VeloDB Studio for Apache Doris. The VeloDB Studio is a UI product specifically designed for Apache Doris and VeloDB. Here, we edit the connection settings for the Doris cluster and run a connection test. After the connection test is successful, we click to enter the Doris cluster. Inside the cluster, we can see a catalog named Iceberg S3 has already been created. We run Show Create Catalog to view the catalog creation statement. As shown, this is an Iceberg catalog pointing to the S3 table. Next, we switch to this catalog and create a database named Test. After switching to the Test database, we create a table named Partition Table. Uh, you can see that we support the Hiding Partition feature here. Uh, we then insert two batches of data using Insert Statements. After the inserts, we run a query and can see all four records. Next, we use the iceberg meta table function to view the snapshot information of this table. We can see that there are two snapshots corresponding to the two insert operations we just performed. Uh, we copy the first snapshot ID and query the table using the for version as of a clause. As shown, we only retrieve the data from the first batch. This demonstrates the iceberg's uh, time travel feature. Next, we use the TPCH catalog to build a test dataset. Uh, we have already created a TPCH catalog. Again, we check the catalog creation statement. As you can see, this catalog is created using the Trino connector plugin and can generate TPCH datasets in memory on the fly. We can see datasets of various scales under this catalog. Let's take a quick look at the data in the nation table. The query results are returned as expected. Now we create a database named tpch1 in the iceberg catalog. After it's created, uh, we can see that this database currently has no tables. Next. We use a create table as select statement to read data from the TPCH catalog and uh, create a table in the iceberg catalog while importing data to generate the test dataset. Uh, this process takes about 30 seconds. Uh, we can see that the new tables has been created. And uh, using the preview feature in Studio, we take a quick look at the nation table. As shown, this is a table stored in S3 tables. Uh, we can also preview the actual data. Finally, uh, we run a simple query demo using the pre-built TPCH queries available in Studio. Let us switch to the Iceberg catalog, and here we use TPCH query 22. The query result is returned quickly. Let's try another query and see that the result is also returned very fast. Now, let's go back to the AWS S3 console. Uh, click on the table bucket. We can also see the tables we just created. Uh, that's all for today's demo about Apache Doris, Iceberg, and AWS S3 tables. Uh, thank you for watching.